Hey there, Short Kings! Welcome back to Short Game Reviews, where we explore the captivating world of short games, specifically on the PS Plus Extra Catalog. With Veterans Day around the corner, we're delving into a pair of unique titles that redefine the way video games handle the complex subject of war. Instead of action-packed spectacles that glorify shooting and make gamers numb to violence and its consequence, these titles set themselves apart by offering a human and humane perspective on just how terrible war really is. Every death on the battlefield has a life back home, and these games make sure you remember that. So who are these games for? Well, if you like games that give you points for killing, these are not for you. This is for those who are a bit of a history buff, enjoy historical accuracy, and cinematic touching narratives. Also, if you're wearing a poppy. Let's jump into the first one. 1111 Memories Retold 1111 Memories Retold is a narrative masterpiece starring Frodo that captures the essence of World War I with a focus on intimate humanity rather than battlefield heroics. Inspired by actual letters and photos from the era, this game tells the parallel stories of two non-American men, Harry and Kurt. Harry is a young Canadian photographer sent to France for propaganda purposes, while Kurt is an older German electrical engineer who enlists to find his missing son. It's a story of love, loss, and the human experience during a devastating historical period. The game focuses on the impact the war had on every day people from both sides, both on and off the battlefield. What makes the game unique? First thing you notice is the game stands out for its unique impressionist art style, which kind of reminds me of Last Day of June, another hidden gem. The game has dual protagonists, Canadian and German, on either side. Just the war game where America is not the main character is kind of unique in itself. You play as a photographer protagonist. This game takes non-violence to a new height because you're in a world war without even a gun, offering a fresh perspective. You get to visit Flanders Field and see the poppies grow. You also get to write letters back home and decide to be romantic, truthful, or somber about the situation. As the photographer, you even get to send the pictures back home that you take, and the following letters you get back will mention those photos. Also, you can play as a cat. Runtime, well spent? While the game itself will only take five to six hours to beat, because of its branching narrative, you might double that time if you want to see all the outcomes this game has to offer. As far as time waster goes, there are optional letters you can find if you explore enough, and these will give you historical facts with photographs delving deeper into details of the trenches and beyond. These are optional and you could skip them, but they're definitely worth it for the history lesson. There are a few puzzles here and there that you might need a hint to put together, but overall nothing too difficult. If you want to save time but see all the endings, just close the game during the credits. Restart at the last save point and you'll get at least four different paths and endings depending on your choices. Mild complaints. Because of its artistic nature, faces tend to blend together. At one point I had to find someone specific and it was quite difficult as you can't distinguish faces, so I wasted lots of time running around. I even tried following them and they disappeared when a key moment happened. 1111 isn't the first war game to not fetishize weapons and glorify killings. 2014's Valiant Hearts got the ball rolling with its 2D puzzles, touching narratives, and historical World War I facts. In Valiant Heart The Great War, players take on the roles of several characters, each hailing from different corners of the conflict. A French farmer, a Belgian nurse, a German soldier, and a Creole man from Louisiana who volunteers in the French Legion, as America hadn't joined the war yet officially as of 1914. They are all interconnected by the horrors of the Great War. Their stories unfold in a touching and poignant manner, shedding light on the human side of the conflict and the unwavering bonds that form amidst the chaos of war. This beautifully crafted game takes you on a journey that's both educational and emotionally stirring, making it a perfect choice to commemorate 1111. What makes this game unique? Historical authenticity. This game places a strong emphasis on historical accuracy in incorporating real-life events, locations, and documents from the war. It provides players with a unique opportunity to learn about the history of the conflict while experiencing it through the eyes of the characters. This unique combination of storytelling, historical context, and gameplay mechanics makes Valiant Hearts a game that not only entertains, but also educates and touches players on a profound emotional level. It's a testament to the potential for video games to convey serious and meaningful narratives. If I was a history teacher, this game would be homework. Kids can learn and absorb more from games than they ever will reading books. It's much more powerful when you experience a tragedy because of your choices instead of just reading about it on paper. Runtime. This one will take you about the same time as the other one, between six to eight hours to be, depending on your playstyle and how much time you spend exploring and solving puzzles. The pacing is well crafted, the narrative unfolds gradually, allowing players to become emotionally invested in the characters and their journeys. The puzzles and challenges are integrated seamlessly into the story, adding to the overall runtime while keeping the gameplay immersive. Like 11.11, the game's runtime can be extended if you choose to explore historical facts and documents scattered throughout the levels. These optional collectibles provide additional context about World War I, adding an educational component to the gameplay. Both games take a non-traditional route to depict war, focusing on the human aspect rather than glorifying the violence. Both 1111, Memories Retold, and Valiant Hearts, The Great War, offer unique experiences showcasing the power of storytelling in the gaming world. They are perfect for those who appreciate cinematic narratives and are looking for a different perspective on the theme of war. Whether you're navigating the brush strokes of history in 1111, 
or embarking on a heartfelt journey with Valiant Hearts, these games are a testament to the emotional potential of the video gaming medium. They serve as poignant reminders of the events of World War I and the enduring human spirit. So give these games a try for Veterans Day. Until next time, be a friend and I'll see you again. Ich bin Kurt. Eins nach dem anderen. Magst du Musik? Dann setz dich und wir spielen noch was.